now we are studying chapter 6 from classics geography major landforms of the earth so the earth's crust and its surface are constantly changing due to various forces emanating from below as well as the forces emanating above the surface of the earth so the forces emanating from below are called endogenic forces and the forces emanating above the surface of the earth are called exogenic forces so the examples of endogenic forces are earthquakes Volcanic eruptions and tidal force of the moon and erosion are the examples for exogenic forces. We know that earth surface is not flat, so it is rugged and uneven due to wide variety of landforms such as mountains, plains, plateaus, etc. These landforms are formed, formed and deformed over a period of time due to internal forces as well as external forces. So the earth has infinite variety of landforms. Some part of the lithosphere may be rugged and some flat. These landforms are a result of two processes. The first are or internal process leads to upliftment and sinking of the earth surface at several places. The second or external process is the continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the earth surface that is formation and deformation of the land surface. The surface is being lowered by the process of erosion. So the wearing down is due to erosion and rebuilding by the process of deposition. These two processes are carried out by running water, ice and wind. Now we are studying about mountains. A mountain is any natural elevation of the earth surface. It has a small summit and broad base. In some mountains, there are permanently frozen rivers of ice called glaciers. It is the source of water. Because of the harsh climate, Less people live in the mountain areas since the slopes are steep. Less land is available for farming, but it has wide variety of flora and fauna. Mountains may be arranged in a line known as range. Many mountain systems consist of a series of parallel ranges extending over hundreds of kilometers. Himalayas in Asia, Alps in Europe, Andes in South America are the mountain ranges. So, there are three types of mountains, pole mountains, block mountains and volcanic mountains. Himalayan mountains and Alps are young fold mountains with rugged relief and high conical peaks. Young fold mountains, young mountains have high conical peaks and on constant erosion as they become old, they become rounded. Pole mountains are formed when two plates when two compressional plates move together, uh, these plates may be two continental plates or a continental plate and an oceanic plate. When they move together, these plates forces sedimentary rocks upwards into a series of folds forming fold mountains. Examples of fold mountains include Himalayan mountains in Asia, Alps in Europe, Rockies in North America and is in South America. So the Urals in Russia and Aravalli ranges in India, it, they are one of the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. Appalachians in North America and Ural mountains in Russia have rounded features and low elevation. They are the very old fold mountains. So, Urals in Russia, Aravalli ranges are old fold mountains. Appalachians, Ural mountains in Russia have rounded features and they are the very old fold mountains. Block mountains are created when large areas are bro broken and displaced vertically. Uplifted blocks, they are called horse and the lowered blocks are called graben. Rhine Valley and Vosges Mountain in Europe, Satpura and Vindhya in India are some of the classical examples of block mountains. Sierra Nevada in North America, Harz Mountains in Germany. So, these are the Rocky Mountains in North America, Andes Mountains in South America, Himalayan Mountains in Asia, Alps in Europe, Ural Mountains, etc. So, the volcanic mountains are formed due to volcanic activity. Examples include Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, Mount Fuziyama in Japan. Mountains are the storehouse of water 
many rivers have their origin in the glaciers in the mountains waters from the mountains is used for irrigation generation of hydroelectricity river valleys and terraces are ideal for cultivation of crops they have rich variety of flora and fauna and ideal site for tourists so these are the storehouse of water ideal for cultivation of crops and best site for tourists and there is wide variety of flora and fauna rich variety now we're studying about plateaus many plateaus are formed as the magma inside the earth pushes through the surface but fails to break through the crust instead the magma lifts the large flat impenetrable rock above it it is a flat top table land standing above the surrounding area a plateau may have one or more sides with steep slopes plateaus like mountains may be young or old deccan plateau in india is one of the oldest plateaus so it is a flat topped standing area standing above the surface surrounding area flat top table land standing above the surrounding area examples are east african plateau in kenya tanzania and uganda and the west Af western plateau of australia tibet plateau is the highest plateau in the world with the height of 4000 to 6000 meters above the mean sea level they are rich in mineral deposits african plateaus is famous for famous for gold and diamond mining in india huge reserves of iron coal manganese are found in chota nagpur plateau there may be several waterfalls as the river falls from a great height for example in india pondru falls in the chota nagpur plateau on the river subarna reka and jog falls in karnataka the lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and good for cultivation now we are coming to plains structural plains tend to be large flat surfaces that make up extensive lowlands erosional plains are those that have been created by erosion due to glaciers wind running water and rivers depositional plains are created when material is deposited from river glaciers waves and wind plains are large stretches of flat land that generally not more than 200 meters above the mean sea level rivers flow down the slopes of mountains and erode them they carry forward the eroded material then they deposit their load consisting of sand stone silt along their courses and in their valleys it is from these deposits that plains are formed plains are very fertile transport network is easy very thickly populated regions of the world for example in asia these plains are formed by the ganga and brahmaputra in india yangtze in china there is great concentration of people as more flat land is available for building houses as well as for cultivation in india too indo-gangetic plains are the most densely populated regions of the country life is difficult in mountainous areas plains provide much better conditions it is easy to grow crops build a house or a road in a plain than in a mountain so plains provide better conditions sometimes natural calamities such as earthquakes volcanic eruptions storms and floods cause widespread destruction huge loss of life and property takes place by creating a creating awareness about such incidences we may lower the risk we should avoid using such important gifts of nature in a careless manner the available land is is not only for our use it is our duty to leave the earth a better place for future generations as well thank you